Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. What's up? It's your girl Songbird. Don't you Oh, today is not working for me. It's not working at all. And we are back for another episode of your favorite internet show. Tell them what it is. This is Polar Opposites. The Melanin edition. There is no O in Melanin. 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 Alright, if this is your first time tuning in, what's up? Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition, pops up. And for our returning opposite fam, what they do? So the topic today is females. What should your parents have taught you about daily living in your young female sexy body life? Well, this is something I say often. I've said this in so many videos. Always carry yourself with respect and integrity. That is something that should just be taught to all females every day by their parents. You should always carry yourself with respect and integrity. Know what you deserve. Know your worth. Know how you should be treated. Know what you should deal with, what you shouldn't deal with. Know know that you have limits and boundaries and what you will and won't do. That's the biggest one for me. Um, let's go back into taking care of yourself. You should always, always look presentable. Because if this is your first time meeting anyone, you're not going to get a second chance and a first impression. So you want to be able to be seen in the best light possible. You want to say, okay, well, the first time I met her, she actually looked real. What's that though? I'm just making sure I ain't hit my head on the wall. You just wanted to be said, okay, if this is your first time meeting someone, they say, okay, I remember the first time I met her. Oh, she was so pleasant. She was so polite. She was nicely dressed. She looked very nice. And everything just, they have a positive, positive experience meeting you. Right? Yeah. I think that would be good. That that goes on both sides, male and female. You want your first experiences with any, your first encounters with anyone to be a positive encounter. Um, the smell. Always got to smell nice lady. And that goes for men as well too. You don't want nobody to be like, oh, I don't want her funky behind going with us. Because she's saying. Can I elaborate on the smell? So there's different kinds of smells. So... I want to go ahead and put that out there. Okay. So, our uh, first smell we're going to talk about is your clothes smell. Now, a lot of y'all cook, or fry, you know, fish, and chicken, and all that other stuff in your house, and then it get inside of your clothes. And then when you come out to see us, you smell like fried chicken or fried fish with some body spray sprayed on top of it. That's not sexy. That's not sexy at all. Y'all be having these coochie smells. You wear a dress and you flop down in the car and the air conditioning on and it blow back in all our face. Now as a guy, we smell it. We may not say nothing, we smell it. I feel like as a female, when you smell that wolf, you need to let it be known like, woo, yeah, I ain't clean. Let me, let me go back in the house, I'll be right back. That's another thing too, your hygiene needs to be a Plus, and especially if you are a big girl, let me stop moving. If you are a big girl, then you got to put it on a plus plus. So that means, if that means taking more than one shower a day, putting, you know, deodorant in between them little crevices rolls. and stuff, the, the rolls, the boobs, under the boobs, wherever. The back boobs. Yeah, those too. I'm not sure how you would, if you got back boobs, I'm not sure how you would put deodorant back there, but... Girl, can you lift this roll up back here? Here. And wipe this on there? Yeah. Just put it right... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Okay. But yeah, you want to make sure you don't go around with that musty smell coming from... Or that sweaty smell coming from anywhere. Because us big girls, because I can speak for myself, they'll be quick to say, oh, she big and she stank. No. Okay, so, um, what do your parents teach you about as far as, um, cooking? 
Well, this is the thing. My, as you mentioned in the last video, my mom, she's an absolutely, she's a huge, she's a big cook. She doesn't like for people being in her kitchen, if you're not there to help. And so we weren't able to do as much cooking until we got on our own. That's speaking for my siblings and I. We weren't able to do much cooking until we got on our own. So we did watch, we did learn, we got to help, but we necessarily didn't get to, you know, cook complete meals. But she still taught us what it is that we needed to know. Okay, well, um, of course, we're cooking, but well, we're cleaning. So what were you taught about as far as? Oh yeah, we were definitely taught to clean. Like, you have to keep your place clean. Like, who wants to live in filth? No one wants to live in filth. And then if people come in your place and it's dirty, they're going to expect that you're a dirty person. They're not going to want to be around you. They're, for one, not going to want you to cook for them and eat their food. So you have to make sure that you are giving off the presentation that, hey, I clean. I'm a clean person. Okay, so this is something that I'm unclear about, and I'm pretty sure most males are unclear about. Um, when you guys start going through that time of the month, you know, what do you, what do your parents teach you? About, well, not your parents, but what do your mom, or, well, I could still say parents, because some of the guys, they, they doing it themselves. What do they teach you as far as, you know, getting your, your pads, your tampons, things? How do they, how's that conversation go? Well, you first off have to be prepared. If you know that you have a heavier flow, then, then you need to, you know, have the correct uh, pads for that, uh, protective wear, I'll say that, the correct protective wear for that. If you know that it's not as heavy, then you could let, use the ones that are less than that. Um, make sure that you have enough materials. That's the one. Make sure that you constantly keep them with you so that you can change. Make sure that you keep I would even say keep an extra pair of underwear with you just in case there is an accident. Keep just keep extra things with you. Keep the perfume, the the wipes, the deodorizers, keep everything because you want to present yourself clean. You don't want to walk around sick. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that means you got to have a little emergency pouch with you, then by all means get you a bigger purse and carry it with you at that time of the month. Okay. Now as far as um, living on your own. Um, and finances, um, and, you know, dating and things of that nature. What, what information are you giving to you guys? Well, I'll say with working, if you don't work, you don't eat. And that just is all the way across the board. Unless you got some people that are going to finance you. And, yeah. And your parents got ATM written on their forehead. Mine don't. I won't say mine don't, but they love me. They love you, but they don't. You know, never mind. <laughs> what? They pay for all your stuff. No, not everything. Yeah. But they do help with a lot. I love you guys. Yeah. They don't watch these videos though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, as for the dating and courting, um, that's just going back to what we mentioned in the previous video. Make sure you're with someone that's going to treat you with the respect you deserve. You are a good person, or you're a person who deserves respect. Everyone deserves respect, and don't. Don't take less than that. I'm so glad you said the respect part. So when it comes to physical confrontation, what 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 does your parents teach you? Knock a bitch out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, you try to, you know, deal with confrontations in an adult way. You don't have to use your hands all the time. You can talk things out. But if it comes down to that, you gotta throw them bows. Okay, and um, lastly, um, you're a young lady, you're, you're entering the world, you know, you, you bright eyed, bushy tail, you, you all of this. I ain't got a tail. All right, well, what key information was given to you to uh, basically protect you by your parents? Um, as long as we're here, they're willing to help. So, they were always my safety net. And that's not everybody's case, but just, I would say for everyone's case, be prepared, expect the unexpected. Always be watching and be ever mindful of everything. So don't rest 
on your laurels. Don't I know a lot of these sound like cliches, but they kind of they are. But I mean, it's good advice. Just expect the unexpected. If you think things are going to go one way, be prepared that they do go another way. All right. So can you think of anything that I missed? If you can, put it down below. If you know someone that needs to see this video, tag their name into it and say, hey, I thought of you and you need to watch this. All right, guys, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Songbird. Okay, great. Peace.